Greetings and welcome back to NIMBY. So in the previous episode we got uh, Lester all up and running over here. I don't know nosy at Lester. Uh, hi Lester, how are you doing? Uh, we got Lester up and running. We broke it down into smaller lanes. Let's go to the lines so you can see what we've got here. We've got, we took the red route and we broke it into two. Um, we also broke, we didn't kind of break this one into two and three. So already, we kind of made them smaller already. But uh, the big thing was we broke the red route into two routes. And um, we also have over here Peterborough is behaving itself quite nicely at the moment, actually. Which I'm rather surprised by because it's been left alone for quite a while. But here's the thing. Today we're going to link those two cities together. So we're going to link Peterborough City and Leicester City together by a high-speed rail line. But I've been thinking about where to put the line. And I was thinking originally to bring the train in and maybe drop it in here. Or drop it in, you could bring it in and just connect it to this station here. And that would be it. But what we've already learned is that if we link them to one station, they'll overload that station and that network. So we want to give them multiple connection points. So what I was thinking we'd do was stop it early, maybe say here, and then have a tram line shoot up to red, one to orange, and one down to this red, which apparently we have two reds. And that way uh, we'll be spread the load across the other stations. But then everybody goes, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. If we, we could go to Nottingham, Nottingham's not going to be able to get down to this station very easily. But then if we go to this outside station, then it will be able to. But then I thought, hang on, but if we go, we're going to go to Nottingham, we're going to go up to Sheffield, Doncaster, and we're working our way up to Leeds, right? That's that's the plan. What if afterwards we decide to continue and we do Birmingham, right? If we do Birmingham later, and that is a big if, we may, 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 may or may not, or even currently. They're going to have trouble getting across to this station. What would be a good compromise? And I realise the best compromise actually is to place a station somewhere up here. If we could place a station somewhere in this area, then Birmingham could come up this way, potentially. Um, yeah, Nottingham could come down to that station, and it wouldn't be hard for, for Peterborough to come across here and turn into the station. And from here, you have access to the blue line, the red line, and the green line with a simple little tram network coming down that could save a lot of hassle so i think we're going to go do that let's get things started with that shall we so we need a station the station's going to be like the main piece here and it needs to be a a train station so we're going to go for high speed train station here a viaduct ground tram tunnel so it's ground it is because it's not tram it's not a tunnel and it's going to be placed up here and it's not really designed to have any passengers on it it's designed to be a uh, just a holding point, so it's going to be up in probably in this section here. It's a bit longer. Um, we need the station to be a little bit bigger than the other stations due to it being a uh, train station. So maybe in this little gap here, we can probably get a few. How would it be? Yeah, look at that. So just from a, from a size point of view, uh, that is loads of room to put down a, a, a station there. Also, by the way, I, I did a, I ran the, the game forward to uh, to Tuesday morning from Saturday. And on on Monday we got no refunds. We got some on Saturday, uh, yeah, we got some on Saturday, but yeah, we got like no refunds. So the the stuff we've been doing is kind of working. So anyway, let's get this uh, this station in, and we can then move that station, get a station over in uh, in Peterborough, and get those two linked. And the plan is to do this properly. So we don't have this as close to the. Oop, no, 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 no. Move, movie tool. We you as close to the bottom as we can get you, so that you can become a viable um, station for that one job. We don't want to have, we don't want to take tracks shared if we can help it. So, um, put you there. I mean, does it need to be the whole seven hundred meters? No, you can probably get it's a train station, but I think uh, four hundred meters should do us on a train station because four hundred meters is actually. Quite a long station, so we'll go with 400 meters. All right, so that's that piece. Next up is actual track itself, and I've got to get this all the way over. There. Actually, another station. Let's, do, let's get the other station in place over in Peterborough. Thank you. Uh, now, where about Peterborough do we want this? And um, there's a this red line. This station here. I already looked it up earlier. The purple line goes up to it, the red line goes up to it, so they share this station. Now, um, what happens if we drop up, if we drop near there, the 
are people on the high speed train will be able to jump on the purple line down and onto this network immediately. Or they'll be able to kind of switch to the lines to show view. There we go. They'll be able to jump on this purple line and that'll take them straight down to the green. Or they can jump on the red and that can take them to the blue. So within one stop, they can be at another, another network. So I think that station is the best place to terminate the, uh, the high speed link into Peterborough. And we're not going to be going anywhere on this side from Peterborough for a high speed link. So I think it's not worth, it's not needing to have a outside connection. I think this, we can just terminate the station directly at this station here. So that, that will work out well. So let's get that, let's go back to tracks, so get the, uh, the train station set up for the one. I think it costs us one million, for, uh, seven million for a train station. Damn, train stations are expensive. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a because it's going to be a dead end termination. We can actually just terminate straight onto that station as well. Uh, maybe it doesn't need to be four hundred meters long. Three hundred meters. Well, I mean that station there's longer than that. So okay, we go four hundred meters. Um, Aim for 400 meters is our overall target. There we go. 400 meters for the station. Damn it. Yeah, I didn't click. I didn't click. Boom. 400 meters for the station. That gives us our, uh, our two stations. They touch each other so they count as one big station. And it will allow us to uh, have the train come in and terminate here. 15 million for that. So now I need to go to tracks. And we're going to do this. Now I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Just so we can have the money coming in and things can be processing while we're uh, while we're building. There we go. All right, now we get you all the way over here. Now this is going to be expensive, but it's going to be totally worth it. Okay, we can't go any faster than that though. All right, let's get the track built. Long track. All right, so the best route here would be I'm trying to find a route that would take me past other areas, uh, north or south of the little lake here. Um, well, I think we're going to go north. We can cut across the top here and come down. But if we go below it, we have to we have to arch up pretty quickly. So we have to go above it. Okay, we're going, to, we're going out near Stamford, but we're not stopping at Stamford. That's the key thing. We're not stopping at Stamford. So train track. Over we go. I'm going to try to keep the speed as high as we can. What we don't want to do is like that 230. We want to keep it as close to the 350 as we can, because the higher we keep the speed, the better. Sadly, I can't uh, do that here because um, I would like to be able to keep an eye on the speed. But if we zoomed into a certain height, there we go. We want these trains to be as fast as we can get them. Now, where is that thing? So that thing's there. So I want to be get. I want to be aiming around here somewhere. Yeah. So okay. So that would that would get us going. Uh, Three fifty is our target here. Boom. First piece of track down. Nineteen million. Now we're going to keep going straight and we're going to be coming below Stanford. So we're going to be coming in this way around here and then we're going to come around through this. And this, we have to be careful with uh, roads with train tracks. With train tracks, you have to be careful because you can't just cut across a road like that. Like you can with the trams, they the have restrictions in. Uh, make sure it stays at 350 though. Boom. Cross that one. Where is Stanford? Stanford's there. We're going to come up here and we're going to come. We could have gone straight up there. That might be that might be better actually. Okay, let's uh, roll that back. Ah, stop closing windows. I need those windows. Those windows are good. You know, uh, it might be better to not even turn. It might be better to just keep going straight, and then head head above head above Stamford as well, which means going past the heaps. And so we go up here. We have to deal with this lake here. That's a problem. Uh, we can come across this way and then yeah we, okay we're gonna do that we're gonna try and try and go above it doesn't look it be too hard to navigate oh we can be awkward to navigate with a lot of lakes up here all right we're going below Hel Hel helpston and then we're gonna curve up probably this way we're gonna get above stamford and shoot across here if we can all right that being said of course can i get to actually see a speed limit that one set that there then I want to be below Hempston. Okay, below Hempston, but keeping the 350 mile speed. There we go. Cut through that. Now at 26 million. Trains are going to be expensive. Well, the trains themselves are going to be in the uh, 
in the very expensive area. And we're going to start curving north now. And here's where we get our uh, little little bits to worry about. We don't want to uh, we don't want to block ourselves in the ability to go anywhere. Uh, so now we've got a problem with Uff Uffington. We're going to basically demolish Uffington on the way past. It's fine though. Not like anyone actually lives in Uffington, right? <laughs> there. And this is where we start curving down. So we've got to be careful where we can put changes here. Because we're going to get to a point where it's just like here right now. We get to the point with this red line. We can't get the line in place. But we want to start curving it off because we are now going to go too, too far north if we don't start leveling this off. So we're going to have to start by getting across these roads here. Sadly, it's a northern curve. And then starting to level this out a little bit. Okay, and we might even have to skip forward a couple of days to be able to afford the actual uh, thing. Now here's the thing, we've got a motorway here and you cannot come through a motorway very quickly. You've got to be careful and we don't want to uh, slow down too much. So we're going to try and that little curve there just to uh, get across that. We're going to switch to viaduct, but viaducts are even more expensive. Now the plan is to get to Oakham. We don't care about Oakham that much. We can go north of Exxon if we need to. Okay. But hopefully, looking at that, we might not need to. We might not need to. Although, we've got to worry about this little bit here that's just being awkward. There. Damn it. Move, delete that. And then new track. And what we had a slight problem there is it, you try to go across that little river there. And then that road, too sharp an angle on that road, that's all. That, was, that means the speed down way too much. So we put that to here. We can do a slight turn here if we need to. Keeping the 350 as we go. Alright. And we want to be over... We'll be north of Opsum. And we're already at 70 million. And we haven't even gone halfway yet. So we're definitely going to need to... Uh, Definitely going to need to run this forward a couple of days to earn the money for this train line. It's a long train line, so we're going to head over here. Let's get it placed down, then we'll skip forward the time. Um, can we get through here without too much hassle? We we can. And then we have this problem here, so we're going to do it, try and do a turn without losing any speed if we can if we can do it. Try to maintain this 300 kph track at all costs is the goal. Do, 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 do. And we're a bit short, so we're going to start heading a little bit north now, which actually helps us out here because of this road. So we're going to start heading north. We're probably going to have to put a viaduct in at some point on this road because this road here is too shallow for us. Yeah, because if we try and make that road, we have to curve down to there. And that brings us to 185 on the right hand side of the screen. So I think we're going to have to get to here and then viaduct just a little bit now viaduct stuff is oh the viaduct has to be way down does viaduct have a lower speed or is that because of the uh, the curve is on there uh, viaduct viaducts have a 250 speed limit oh all right uh, i don't really want to go down to viaduct if we can help it the turn is too much move delete that section so if we can get across here with a with the with a higher maintained speed what if I brought it down to there That's still 350 we might be able to cut across this without dropping the speed down too much put that there and then pull that back Okay, delete that piece, pull that back to here, bring that into there. We've added as some concentric circles. We're trying to keep the speed up on the right hand side as high as we can at 350 while having a turn. So we drop our speed down to 280, 275. Yeah, we're getting 
It's very, very hard to get this turn in place. I mean to start it a little bit earlier. Yeah, if you get that turn, we got to drop our speed right down. Okay, so let's start this turn a little bit earlier. Um, in fact, if we were to alter you to there, you have 350, but we can take that 350 and use it as a guide, pull this southwards, and get across there at 350. With that. All right, so we got a little bit, of, we just have to reroute the, the thing a little bit, but everything worked out well there. Okay, that's good. Next up, uh, we are now going to worry about that little turn. Although we could go up here and do it up here. You know what? Let's do that. Um, I know it's counterproductive to what we've just done down here. But if we move this further north, without breaking the speed that we've got, 350, 350. Okay. Go keep going north, we can come up to where this road does a harder turn, but we also put us on the straight line over here. Alright. Gotta be careful we don't go into a, a bad situation though, because we could end up in a situation where we uh, hit a different road entirely. Keep going along here. This is the road we were worried about before, but it does do a hard turn here where we can hopefully take advantage of that. take the best advantage of it, we want to be heading ourselves slightly north but that will give us the ability to swing ourselves to the south so now uh, watch out for that river because that river is a problem if we start turning too close to it, there we go but we can make this turn at 350, there we go, we're across that road now which we were worried about before and now we're just going to start heading straight across to uh, Rectophone Week, which is a really weird name. But we won't be going across here, we'll just make this turn as hard as we can while maintaining 350. And then we're going to run you straight across these, maintaining the 350 as we go. How close are we? Okay, we're not, we're not far away. Um, and we're going to be coming in quite strong. So I want to say over here, I want to start this turn if we can. And I want to try and maintain as close to 350 as we can, although we are aware that we may not be able to do with the full 350 at the entry exit points. Um, 350, 350 puts me there. 350 puts me there, and it just gets through that motorway. Maintaining as hard a curve as we can here, while maintaining the 350. Because that road there. Okay. Cancel. Move. We have to tweak these a little bit. Try and get this one a bit more shallow if we can. There. Okay. And it means you... Coming down to that 270. We're being up to 350. We don't, I mean, we don't need the full 350. We just need to be as close as we can get it to 350, right? There. Okay, and then we can't get you across that without bringing it down to 150. And see, I mean, it's, it really, really super slows it down. Uh, but we need to get through this road here. So, can we get across that at any point? No. Okay, so we're going to have to go further north and anchor this around. That's not a problem. Um, we just get rid of this one. And this one we run as far north as we can before we stop having the ability. New. And then we start curving you around here. That will work well. Um, bring you up to there. And then bring you across to there. Maintaining the 350 straight across that river without even thinking about it. Because the rivers are a pain in the ass as well to get across. All right, that sets our height, and that means that that's lower, which I kind of thought we might have to worry about, which is why I want to do this side first. I right, bring you across, and you're going to have trouble with that ride up there, and then there's a big-ass lake here that just wants to be in the way for no reason. Um, 
Can we swing this south without any problem? Uh, yes, we can. All right. Oh, actually, look at that lineup very nicely because all because of that lake. There we go, and then link these two together. Okay, they are now in place. Let's do a speed test across this lot. 350, 350, 350, 350, 350, 350, 350, 350, 350, 350. The train probably won't do 350, but we have the option to do 350. That's the thing. That's the key piece there. 350, 350, 350. Nice high speed line so far. 350, 350, 350. 141 million requirement. It's going to be expensive. 350, but worth it. 350, 350, 350. We're almost there. I wonder how close we were. 350, 350. And we're in. Okay. We got a 350 kph line all the way from Peter, um, Leicester to Peterborough. Now, this is going to cause quite a large amount of. Uh, of traffic on these lines so these probably need a bump up in thing this side here well it's going to need a a new line coming off of this which is gonna be a metro so we might as well build that now factor that into our manufacturing costs so when I skip forward we skip forward far enough to build this as well so give me a new station and this station is gonna be a tram station and it's gonna be up here and I'm going to run this along, pretty much along this station. There's no reason not to run it with along it. Uh, it can be a much shorter station. It only needs to be like 100 meters long. Uh, move it so it touches because they're going to be the they're going to be the same station. There we go. And track for trams. And you're going to be much easier to deal with. You're just going to come down here. Your job is to connect to. Uh, this one. Blues are there. Blues are there. Blues are there. Blues are there. And we good. So we connect to blue. We connect to the this one over here. That's the idea. So bring you down there. Oop, give. It, uh, we need a station. We need. We need a um, station. <coughs> I need a station here <coughs> that we can connect into. There. And that's your station to connect into that one. And then over this way, we need a station over here. Now this is going to be the more difficult one, because there's two stations here. Can I cheat this and go between them? No. I was hoping it would let me, uh, let me, let me cheat that a little bit. Um, I can build a new station next to these. Uh, here. And reroute the uh, existing line, or we can share the station. I look at how often trains come through. It wouldn't be the worst thing to share the station, but I don't want to share the station at the same time. So I'm going to put you there, and I'm going to go back to tracks. And I don't know if it's going to let me go through that, but what I can do is give me a branching line. Uh, switch the, that one there. Give me a branching line there. And I'm going to pull that off there. And this branching line. We're going to that piece of station there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And give me another branching line. Oh, look, that's a bit annoying about how much that's going to cause weirdness. Branching line. Hmm. Can I just move the old lines there? I can move the old lines there, okay. Um, move that. Okay, I can't move the old line. It says I can, but I'm not allowed to. Uh, that gets that ready. I can't build that piece. What I want to do is demolish this line here and have it connect to the other station. So, and then this line here will be connected to our station. So we'll get that one set up anyway. Um, pen track, and I won't We'll do a bit of manual stuff at the end, basically. Uh, but we get there. Okay, so you come down here. Now, you, you can't go across the river, but that's why we give you a bump up to a... So, this piece here. 
145.5 and if we go to viaduct 145.3 so cheaper to go to viaduct than it is to go for a train line from that point and then bring this down do 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 Viaduct number one. Delete that piece. It's a bit too close apparently. New track number one. There we go. And then that can get to there. Boom. That line's in. This line comes across here, and this job is to get to there, which does mean going across pretty much every single uh, river you can find on the way. But hey, that's the way it is, right? So there, then viaduct. To there, and then tram line the rest of the way. Uh, there's a river there. We can cut through there. We can we can cheese that little river there then we need a viaduct at that point this should be the last viaduct I think uh, new row bit of viaduct there all right that should be the last viaduct we need and we should be able to bring this pretty much to here there we go and then I'm not going to connect that piece yet and what we do is when we get the money to spend it um, I will connect this up to his path. So it's 147 million to build this high-speed rail line and it's, inter and it's interlink connector. We have 75 million bank, so I'm going to fast forward uh, a little bit and I will be back as soon as we hit 100 and... We're going to need to be in a better part of nearly 200 mil. So we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll come back in just a moment. Okay! We are now here, we've got uh, 232 million in the bank. I ran it forward a few weeks. I also increased the price on several of the lines by, well actually on all the lines, by one whole dollar. So if there were two dollars, they're now three. If there were 150, they're now 250. Um, and uh, honestly, it brought the money up a lot faster. We increased our profits, but uh, the refunds, they were only like a thousand a day, maybe 3,000 at most. So it was well worth the increase. Um, Something's changed in the game because I had I was getting massive refunds at our current prices. So we uh, we 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 can build that track now anyway, regardless. So build me that track. Boop. Are you sure what to build? Yes. There we go. We now have 84 million in the bank. Now it's not going to be enough to get what we're going to do. But first thing we're going to do here is get this tram line connected up properly. This has to be done pretty smoothly because it's going to break some stuff when we do it. So first of all, track. And we need to delete the existing track. That piece there. Any trains on it? There are trains on it, sadly. So can we get that train to pass it, or will there always be a train on that on that line? Right, halt. Looks like we're good to delete that piece. Delete that bit of track. Yes. All right, that piece of track is now deleted, and we put a new piece of track in there. And the trains shouldn't really care that much that I'm doing it. There we go. That's been done. Now, the line here needs a, needs a modification. So it's less than off. And the part of the track that says go to the Cedars Academy needs to be moved over to this side of the track. So Cedars Academy. Cedars Academy. There it is. That piece. And it's told to go to that station there. Now we need to modify this. Um, add stops at line. And at this section here, I need them to be going in. Now, they're coming in to C, and I can't tell which one C is, um, but A, B, C, D, E, yeah, it doesn't really work that way either, does it? Uh, they're coming from Round Hill Community College, so where's Round Hill? Round Hill above it, or above? Round Hill's over here. Round Hill is there, so they're coming downwards. So, if they're coming down, they go to, they go to E, there, and they wait nine minutes, it's the same thing, and we delete that one. There we go. Then they will continue down this route to the playing fields. So where were we? There we go. See the E to playing fields. Perfect. Okay, that, that works. Then further down, 
uh, we'll play the field again. Seeds Academy D, and the D gets to be placed out with the F, and the D gets deleted. Uh, the D gets deleted. There we go. That will work. Uh, we, but we have to build the line first. Yes, build the line. Build the line. That's why the line was uh, being a bit awkward. Um, set the timer on that one to nine minutes. There we go. And that should crit itself because it's right now it's saying it doesn't know what it's going to do. But that was because of this um, bit missing. So if we unpause, these trains should root themselves correctly. Okay, they didn't root themselves correctly. I'm going to have to delete the track and recreate it. Actually, an idea might be to delete this bridge, maybe this bridging section. Delete that. Uh, new track here. From there to there. Do that. Build that. Okay. Okay. Now we try again. From Round Hill Community College up there to here via this station here. Okay, it didn't like the bridging. Uh, it didn't like the bridging. Okay, so we can reset the entire station up in the most awkward and annoying way you could possibly do it. Uh, let's let's do it over here. A outbound. Okay, maybe not A outbound, because it's starting you at playing fields. Playing fields, A track south. So we're going to so we'll start with the southbound to A. B. Oh, no. God, no. No. To A up there, to A there, to A there, to A there, to B up here, I believe it is. B. Uh, and then you get to here, you're going to be that way out, so you want E. And then you to the B route, and you go the other way. So F. A. Uh -huh. B. 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 Alright, that's it. Oh, that's all good. And we set the average travel time is apparently 10 minutes so I'm gonna set it to 9 because I like a target of 9 if possible there we go set the trains on their route and just hope that they will behave themselves the same round take that off take that off okay go trains go and there we go the trains are somewhat behaving themselves now they will space themselves out over time once uh, they're allowed. We just got some trains that are holding up the line. Nine minutes, 45, mile, 45 kilometers an hour maximum. Says so it's a minimum interval of 10 minutes between them. I said to give it nine minutes, and yet they're still bottling up. Oh, there we go. They've, they've got rid of it. They've, they've figured it out while well, I was working the math out. All right. Red line is back in play. Hopefully that uh, will solve part of the problem. And we can start looking at getting our other line up and running. Oh, that took way too long. All right, now we need to uh, need to get this line up now. Tracks, build from there to there. Okay, that's done. That's built. So now we're going to set up a line up. Now this line's going to be the Leicester. Um, I'm going to call it Crossington. This is going to be the actual big station. So can I rename the station? Um. Should I can rename the station? Surely I can do that. I, I thought we were able to before, right? The destinations, no, neutral. Platforms, accounting, platforms, four platforms. Oh, yeah, the two things. And uh, so that's me there. I was 100% sure we could rename these stations before. Interesting, we can't. Uh, tracks. Maybe. There we go. We can do it on the we do it at the track level. Uh, Alternate name. No, this is going to be. Um, is it, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. That's pretty much spelled this one wrong. 
Leicester. Leicester, 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 Leicester. L E I. White is right on top of that. Right on top of that thing. L E I C E S. I'm going with that. Leicester. Oh, I can't go any higher than that. Okay. Leicester. Train. Terminal. Done. If we spelled wrong, I'll create it later. So we have the we have the train terminal here for Leicester, and it's going to be where all the routes go. For now, we want to set up a little line. So I'm going to stop time because of that little issue we had before. And I'm going to set up a little tr uh, tram line that goes from the Leicester station into Leicester. So it starts with A. It doesn't start with A. Obviously, we're still in here. Uh, is it going to end with A? Stop doing that. You, you stop what you're doing. A uh, new line. There we go. And this line is... Leicester Train Shuttle. And the code for it... What's the code we're using? It was, it's just Leicester... I'm going to call it Leicester Train. Leicester train and your price will be two and your colour it's going to be a nice dark green there we go or, or you could do that no that green <coughs> there we go all right and then you connect it up so your route is going to be nice and short you're a shuttle so a I mean, it's correct, right? A, yeah. A to C. To C. And then when you've done C, you immediately leave that one and you go back this way. To D. And then they'll automatically go back there. So it's a, it's a loop. It'll go Winfield Park as its starting point, apparently. Oh, no, it'll start Leicester Train. Winfield C, C to C, so that we go train terminal, that terminal there, that terminal there, back to that terminal and back to the train station again. Nice little tiny loop. Uh, we'll go into trains and we're probably going to need, probably going to need uh, four, four trains. Uh, okay, I don't see any, I don't see the, one on, the loop on here. Uh, lines, Leicester train shuttle, trains, purchase new trains. We want city trams. We want the biggest trams we can get on the on this on the tram. That's trains. We want four trains. Looking at the wrong one there. Four trains at the maximum size. That's instead of like forty-seven million. Three trains. There we go, and these are all to be on the new line. So these go on to train shuttle, train shuttle, train shuttle. There we go. And so now there are three trains on that line. So we can come here, we say they've got a speed of 45. They're going to be an 8 minute 56 apart. So we're going to say set that to 8 minutes gap between the trains. There we go. And that'll get them up and running. And they're going to cost us money, and we're not going to bring any money in for this line. Because this line is... Uh, well, no one's going to want to use this line right now. The reason being, there's the, other than this shunt here, which actually they could use this shunt. Other than this shunt here, there's no reason to go up to the top. Oh, actually, technically, it's in the catchment area. Apparently, it's in the catchment area for uh, Cossington. I didn't think it would be. Well, at least some people are using it, so it's a, it's a starting point, um, and this will get us up and running to, to go. We have spent a fair bit of money today, 181 million, it's just a small amount, uh, but we've got that running there, there we go, so they're running now, they're, this new line is, the train shuttle is running, um, the accountancy says it's actually profitable, by itself. <laughs> And it's most, I bet it's mostly this little bit of the loop here, this gap. People wanting to transfer. 
Anyway, that's going to keep that line busy for a while. Now, what we're going to find out here is what's it going to cost us to run the train. We're going to need multiple trains, so I'm going to estimate at least two, probably a more on the line of four. But we'll budget for two to start with. If we were to buy a high speed train, we want, we've got a 350 kPa um, limit, so we want anything that can do 300 to, uh, to above. Right, so your, your maximum speed is 145, no. You can do 160, you can do 320, so the hit Vissa is uh, the closest one so far. Uh, you can do 225, because you're okay, you can do 200. We have the Intercity 225, which can do 225. We have you at 120, 100, 100, 350 on the menzine, men 90, 220, and 120. Okay, so we have the 225s, which are pretty close. We have the th and we have a 320 there and a 350 there. What's the price for these? With their these are what well, these fix. This is a fixed uh, capacity um, train, so it's 161. Can't change it. And it will set us back 72 million per train. Has a transport capacity. Oh, where's the passenger count? Where's your passenger count? Because uh, max passenger is 60. You have six carriages and you can only carry 60 people. Hmm. Even the city tram starts at 45. And if you. Oh, it's per carriage. Okay. There, three or five times. Okay, so look at that again. Uh, the men's and can hold 480 passengers, and the uh, Vasa can do 504 passengers. A um, bit slower, but not much, but costs 34 million. The 225 carries a lot more people and costs 31 million, but moves slower. Is it better to move more people per train or move the trains faster? Faster trains means. Um, the trains can arrive at their destination faster, which means that we don't have to worry about people hanging around with them. But if we move more people, then it adds up. So the 225, actually, so far it's actually winning out. It's it's the uh, it's it's the fact that you can carry over 100 extra people. Let's try the other ones. Um, so the 225, I think, should win this run. Uh, for, it's, I mean, it's a relatively short space as well. So 225 will be fine in that small space, whereas with the, if we're doing a longer run, we definitely need a higher speed. So you can do you can do over a thousand people at 145. It's still only 145 though. That's way below the speed limit I want. Uh, you're 160. I need to be at least 200. 330 for you. No. Is that the maximum you can put on that? You can go a lot higher. 225 at 594. The 225 at 684. Do you have a length on this? Because uh, I don't know what train is going to be at a train station as well, it'd be nice. Um, so the 225 is still winning. The 225 is still winning. You can do 350, you just don't have the passenger capacity. Wow, 915 people at 90k mates. It's not fast train. But it, it's got the passenger capacity up there, look at that. Uh, and you can't increase number of heads. So what is this anyway? This is the, the NYR160. It can move a lot of people, in, but it's slow to do so. This could be good though for um, having a slow line that goes between two places and just takes a lot of people. Yeah, I'm not going to buy this train, but it could be very fun to have that down somewhere. This one's 220, just 280 people, and I can't increase that. And you're 180, and I can't increase you. Okay, so it looks like the it's between. It looks like it's between the 225. Oh, the 225 uh, maximum, maximum loadout and I'll put you down 
225 maximum loadout, and there's probably a Vessa. Is it 504? So this will cost 33 million for that, and the 225 would cost us 31 million and, and has higher capacity compared to you. And brings more people to the board. 225 is. Um, I will want at least two trains uh, for the journey, and I think we're going to need four. So let's just speed up time a little bit to get to that 63 million. Uh, when did our loan do, by the way? Uh. 18 million per month to be paid out. Okay. Uh, and this payout is on the 17th of April. Okay, let's run forward. Uh, we need to make sure we've got enough money by the 17th of April to cover the costs of, eight of it. So we need 16 million. We've got enough now, but we don't have the money coming in for the loan yet. So we're going to be about 70, 80 million in the bank. I can afford the, uh, the loan payment and I can afford the, uh, the train as well. Do, 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 do. There we go. Keep everything at just below maximum. Right, buy those two trains. Right, two trains being purchased. They're not on any track right now. Let's get the line set up. Slow down the system so I can do this really quickly. Uh, new line. This new line is going to be the Leicester to. Peterborough. Okay. Uh, this one I'm going to set it up at a nice four pound per, per kilometer. The cooler the track will be nice royal blue, and the stops are going to be Leicester C to. Peterborough, D. And that's it. That's it. that's it. literally it. It's gonna be. Uh, set the trains onto that track. You pick Leicester to Peterborough. Leicester to Peterborough. Right, you're both on. You can now go into the scheduler here, and we can do two two five. Yeah, yeah, and it's 27 minutes per thing, so we're going to say you have a 25 minute duration wait time, and then we get these trains moving. And they should, there we go, they spawned over here. I am at the uh, company, so you're going to be uh, the L E I list to beat. Let's beat. There we go. And off goes the first train. It waits and no one's on board the train because why would there be? And here we have the first train coming through. There should be no passengers currently available. Um, mostly because no one knows that route exists just yet. But this will be waiting for a transfer very shortly. There we go. First passenger to use the new train. 23 people on board. And it will uh, hopefully we'll start seeing them uh, top these two trains up. So let's see, put you there, put you there. These are the two trains. Let's see how they stack while we wait for money to roll in. Uh, those two trains are running backwards and forwards right now. We need to put this back over onto accounting. There we go. And the two trains are now carrying 345 and 341. So they're not quite full capacity, but they are over half capacity, which is good. These trains have a, capacity, a passenger capacity of 684. Oh, that train's full. Okay, one of the trains heading to Peterborough is now full to the brim. So it's that we it tells us straight away we're going to need to supply um, extra trains on this line. There's no two ways about it. Because now the trains are full. Um, and now, again, the Peterborough train, Leicester to Peterborough train is full. The Peterborough to Leicester. Sorry, no, the Leicester train is full now. So. Train that way, yep, and then return. Now both trains are full. Ah, it's beautiful. That means that line is is valid, and they are running it. So we need two more trains. 
minimum on that line <clears throat> because they are both trains are full to the top right now that is absolutely beautiful to do that however we're going to need um 33 million each train so let's speed time up and get ourselves to uh, around 70 million and then we can buy two more trains for that line uh, we are going to be running some refunds because of the line uh, well, the line's going to cost us some refunds mostly down to that. Oh, actually, before we go too far, let's reevaluate the cost of this line. Uh, yeah, so Leicester Northwest is currently experiencing 73,000 in compensation. Let's go over here. 75,000 in compensation um, because its price is probably just a bit higher. Let's take you down to 250. 2.5. Uh, the train shuttle is complaining about uh, compensations and will ignore you entirely. Um, it's 10 grand. And we'll say this line is already asking compensation. Now, your compensations are because of waiting too long. Your compensations are because of waiting too long. And your compensations were also way too long. We weren't really complaining about fares too high, though, were you? Ooh. Okay, so. Actually, you can go back to being three. So that we have the, that line there is basically needs more trains. That line there needs more trains. Okay, so we just need a more. Basically, we need more trains across the board. And obviously, this line here, they 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 are having way too long. So they're not getting anyone complain about the price. So I'm going to put your price up to six for a minute, <clears throat> just to help with the price of that. All right. Let's get that running. And we get, I'm expecting compensation requests uh, when I come out of this screen after Friday. We go 90 million. There we go, 100 million. We're making money so fast now because of that train line. Let's just see what they did to our bank account though, and most of our refunds. So Friday, uh, we paid so much in refunds, but we made so much money in the process. Okay, sadly I can't see what those refunds were because the accounting system doesn't allow me to go back that easily on this screen. But let's look. Leicester Northwest, we paid 300k in in compensations, um, almost entirely down to waiting too long. You need trains. The train line itself, uh, almost yeah, all of them were were uh, way too long, and the train shuttle also waited too long so we need at least one more shuttle minimum we need probably another train or two on this line but we definitely need two trains on this one okay so let's start with the with the train line so trains we want the Peterborough to Leicester track you clone that two more trains on that track boom done right then we have to go to the line State, no, stops, schedule, uh, 225 is your time. You can now up 13 minutes apart. So, boom, there we go. Those trains are moving on that line. They can now very happily get more trains. Go. There they go. Then we can get rid of that piece. <clears throat> and that will give us a lot more trains on that track. And it should help clear up the backlog on those, uh, on those runs, hopefully. Do 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 do. Wait for the train to run down. There we go. Okay, I think that's working. I just want to see what that other train arrives. Yeah, so that's four trains on that track, uh, on that route, and they're all right now. All of the Leicester to Peterborough routes are full. See how they go later on. You. They're going to need two more trains. So less than northwest. Less than northwest. You need two more trains as well. Purchase them. <clears throat> and in here we go to our scheduler. And you're going to be nine minutes fifty six apart. So I'm going to set you a straight nine minute allowance. There we go. And the shuttle. Uh, it probably could also do with probably another two trains. 
Uh, let's train shuttle. Clone. Two more trains. And reschedule, recalculate yours. You're five minutes 21 apart, so we'll give you a five minute uh, leeway. Boom, there you go. All right, that should clear up that, that little bit of an issue. So it's more trains on your track, more trains on your track, and more trains on your track. That hopefully clears up the compensation issue. Let's find out, shall we? Run it forward to say just before Tuesday. Because we want to see it on a weekday, don't we? We want to see what happens on a weekday. Do 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 do. We have enough to pay the loan because it's eighteen million by the fifteen ish. Um, but we're going to be very close. So Sunday comes around. We've made forty million over the weekend. Well, maybe not quite forty million over the weekend. But here we go. The big test is a weekday. Get it to around twenty three hundred hours and see what's happening on the uh, on the whole lines. 19, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, stop. There. Okay, compensations. The north route is getting a bit busier. Uh, it's accounting is picking up some refunds due to way too long. Kind of half expected that really. Actually kind of said there'd be more problem over there. And the letter northwest is still getting thing, but it's still all down to way too long. It might be we have to split the line into smaller lines because they're already uh, nine minutes apart. But we can we can deal with you. What's the, how much the refunds? Uh, 300,000... Oh, th hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There we go. Check them properly. 61 grand and they're, yeah, they're all down to way too long still. And we'd end up paying 200k in refunds uh, and Pretty much all of them were down to this one station here and the north station there. So the north station actually costing us the most money though. Um, even though it has the least number of people, they had the most refunds. Interesting. Alright, let's give you a, a new train on the Peterborough North. Peterborough North. You have three trains right now. You're about to receive two new trains. In the biggest carriages. Were you using smaller trains before? Interesting. There you go. Uh, let's see, where's your passenger capacity? 305, 305, 305, 305, 305. Okay. Interesting that it gave me a different number then, though. Uh, recalculate your stop count because you don't need to be that far apart anymore. So you're going to be 45k meets just the track limit. Which puts you 9 minutes 26 apart. So we'll give you a 9 minute gap. Boom, there you go. That should help with you. And you. And your accounting side. Because um, we should look at refunds really, shouldn't we? There we go. Uh, you, you're done. Now you. Your refunds are all down to the same. You're pretty much down to way too long. So if I put an additional train on here as well, um, Leicester Northwest, Leicester Northwest, as it already has eleven trains. Let's just check something. Uh, capacity three hundred five, three hundred five, three hundred five. Which none of these are less than three hundred five. Okay, they're all three hundred five. I'll give you an additional two trains. There you go. And we'll recalculate your line, and I don't think we do it again. If, we, if it's still going to be a problem uh, at eight minutes twenty-four, if it's still going to be a problem, we're going to have to look at bringing that line down to a, uh, a different type of line. All right, let's run that time forward for Tuesday and see how that uh, collects up with with delays and stuff. Actually, no, it's not Tuesday, but the trains would have been balancing themselves out still. Ah, you know, they should be done by end of day. We'll give them to end of Tuesday. 20, 21, 22, 23, there we go. Compensations for Tuesday. Uh, one grand, we've spent one grand in compensation. I'd say that's well within acceptable parameters. All right, we had good. We've got 124 million in the bank, which is excellent. That train is really helping us out now. Uh, this train's not full. This train is not full. I mean, it is midnight. I don't actually expect them to be full. So, good. 
All right, we are running. We've got four trains on the high-speed line. We've got massive amount of trains in Leicester. Look at Leicester. <laughs> so, we now have our first high-speed line. The next stage of our build is to move up to Nottingham. Get Nottingham built up and then have Nottingham have a high-speed line. I think with Nottingham, we'll put the train line on this side. I'm trying to sneak it here, maybe, even. No, that's too close. Bring the train line over here somewhere. And that way we have the line coming up here. Or we can put it on this side, actually. Might be better to put it on the west side. We can shoot up to Sheffield quite easily then, can't we? And then Leeds, yeah, and Manchester and stuff. Okay, we'll do that. We'll stick to the west side, most likely. But anyway, that's where we are at the moment. We have very little on the line of compensation being paid out. Uh, we are looking good. Our info says our ref uh, payments are due on the 17th. Uh, we pay 18 million per month. What's actually left on the loan? 985 million. So we've got a fair bit to pay off on the loan yet. Um, but we can't. Um, if we paid it off early now, we'd be paying a billion dollars in, uh, in in loan repayments. So we're not going to touch that for a while. Pay demand factor. Can it change that? Well, package demand factor. I have no idea what that does. I'll leave that alone. All right. Anyway, let me know what you think of the episode. What you think of the ISB line? And if you can make up any suggestions or anything we should do before we start working on the, uh, the next sections, please let me know. But until next time. Comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!